Howdy, I'm Brad Means. I'm Jenny Montgomery. Thank you for staying with us. We begin with some breaking good news coming into the News Channel 6 newsroom at this hour. End of year planning for Richmond County Schools has just been released. Here are just some of the answers to questions you have been asking. Online learning will end for Augusta Schools on May 8th. Teachers will continue to accept work missed or resubmitted through May 22nd. Work accepted after March 16th, yes, March 16th, will have a positive impact on grades only. High schoolers can choose to accept their grades as of March 19th or continue to earn scores to improve their overall grades. Kindergarten through eighth grade students will be given a pass or fail for their courses with a minimum grade of 70 as passing in grades four through eight. There is no new information regarding commencement exercises. For a more detailed look at the end of the year plan, just go to our website, wjbf.com, and again, no new information regarding graduation. All stimulus checks may... This week, Governor Brian Kemp announced Augusta University is providing telehealth screenings to all Georgians. News Channel 6's Ashley Osborne explains how the update impacted use of the app. This is the app. We've told you about it before. Augusta University launched it weeks ago. This week, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp announced the service is available to the entire state, and now even more people are using the app. In his most recent briefing, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp highlighted Augusta University's app. With an app available on Apple and Android smartphones, this tool allows health care providers to interact with patients without risk of exposure. It's called the AU Health Express Care. After the governor announced the service is now available to all Georgians statewide, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Philip Cool says they saw a spike in users. Within minutes, I started getting messages that we were getting um, screen calls from Atlanta and the Atlanta area and people wanting to figure out how they get tested. Here in AU's backyard, doctors direct patients to a drive-through testing center either in Augusta or Grovetown. So how does it work for people in other parts of the state? Dr. Cool explains. If I'm all the way in Atlanta, well, how does that work? I'm far. Sure, so we are working in partnership with the Georgia Department of Public Health, just like we are for the center here. Reporting in Augusta, Ashley Osborne, WJBF News Channel 6. Augusta University is one of two hospitals locally to get a mobile morgue from the state of Georgia. News Channel 6 is Ashley Flete with a look at how those vehicles can be a key asset. As the coronavirus continues to claim the lives of many people in other states and cities, Augusta University says they're not taking any chances and have set up this mobile morgue for a just-in-case situation. And they say even though it's here, they don't necessarily intend to use it. Richmond County Coroner Mark Bowen and local hospitals are constantly thinking of new ways to keep things running smoothly as we near the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic. One of the principles of disaster management and certainly in a pandemic is that you have to plan ahead. You have to be proactive. You don't want to have to make critical decisions in the heat of the moment or once the need arises. Augusta University Health System's Vice President and Chief Medical Officer Dr. Philip Cool explains why a mobile morgue can be an asset. Some of the problems that other cities have had that don't have that asset is that the funeral homes don't want to take patients that have COVID-19 because they didn't understand what the risks are or what they have to do different. And because of that, that creates a problem with what normally happens. Cool tells me it's important to understand how the virus takes over different places, paying close attention to the outcome, and then learning from it. This particular morgue can hold up to 24 bodies, but Dr. Poole tells me that he hopes it stays empty. In Augusta, Ashley Fletcher, WJBF News Channel 6. Coverage you can